Next up, we're going to take a closer look at one of the great running backs on that distinguished list, the all-time leading rusher in the history of the National Football League, number 34, Walter Payton. We'll be back with the sweetness story right after these messages. In his first game as a Chicago Bear in 1975, Walter Payton carried the ball eight times for no gain. The Bears were trounced by the Baltimore Colts 35-7, and the heralded rookie from Jackson State left the stadium in tears. Thirteen seasons, 3,830 carries later, Walter Payton has amassed more than 16,700 yards, and he has left many a linebacker and safety in tears. Gale Sayers may have been more elusive, Bronco Nagurski more powerful, but never has there been a more dedicated and durable running back than Sweetness. Walter Payton was the ultimate football player, one of the best running backs ever. He holds eight NFL records, 26 Bear records. They called him sweetness, but he struck fear into the opposing defenses. His teammates revered him. You're talking about a guy who played 13 years in the National Football League and missed one game and gained more yards than no one will ever touch him. And if someone does touch him, then, you know, I take my hat off to him because he he's just the most tremendous player I've ever seen. And if someone does get that close, that's that they've played on a lot of great teams where early in his career he did, and that was a kind of a handicap for him. Peyton not only ran at the opposition, he ran over it. His philosophy was to hit the defender first. He played offense like a linebacker, throwing his body off balance and exploding into the enemy. Peyton compiled 16,726 rushing yards, all of them through intense effort and determination. It doesn't matter if there's a hole there because he was he's a physical type too. Uh, Walter Payton was in very good shape and I think he still is to this day. You know, he's he's a physical specimen out there. Uh, he was I felt sorry for the DBs trying to take him out of bounds in the sidelines because he would he didn't inflict more pain on them uh, than they would on him. He wasn't the guy that was going to run out of bounds and give up two yards. He was going to take a shot or deliver a shot and get an extra four or break it for a bigger run. Um, and it's desire. It's, that's what you have to say about Walter. He probably had the greatest deal of desire, the greatest amount of desire of any player, just because of the abuse he did take early in his career. But now, 9, 10, 11, 12 years later, he's still playing with the same enthusiasm he did as a young player when his body could take it a lot more. He's probably the best football player that's been said over and over again in the history of the game. Uh, he was a guy that would run, that would block, that could throw the passes. Uh, he was a team player also. And uh, I don't think there'll ever be another Walter Payton. The guy was in shape to the last game he played. Quick pitch to Walter, looking for the record. Cuts back. He's got it. He's out of it at 25 and the 26-yard line. Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all-time leading rusher. He was the best conditioned athlete I've ever seen. He was the best running back as, as total power runner. He could make you miss. He could run over you. He could hurt you. He, he was the best blocker. He was a, a great receiver. I mean, he did the whole thing. He could have played defense. He could have been a defensive back. No question about it. So, you know, you know he, he used to think he was a kicker. So, you know, he thought he could do it all. But I seen him do it all. I mean, he threw the ball. I mean, we, we had a number of times he threw touchdown passes. So, you know, when, I, when people say, you know, maybe it's a silly thing to say that one player was the best I've ever, he was the best I've ever seen, and I've seen some great ones. 